In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very creative five options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option along with the icons at the top. And you can add the detailed text and I have added a shadow effect here. And when I click, it will show me the second option, third option, fourth and fifth. You can see here I have used different colors. And if you want, you can make it four options also and something like this it will look you can see the option one option two option three and option four so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to give some different color and I'm just going to place it here. You can see here. So whatever the blue color which you're seeing, only that I'm going to keep it and the rest I'm going to cut it. So again, how much uh, curved you need, you can just adjust this point. You can just drag inside or drag, or drag outside to get more curved. So let me just select this blue uh, rectangle first. Hold the shift key, select the gray rectangle, then go to format shape, format tab, merge shape and just say subtract so you can see here we are we end up getting this particular shape and then at the bottom also i want to just cut this one i don't want i want to give more curve shape here so first of all i need to cut this to cut this go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle here you can see here again then hold the this particular uh, object hold the shift key and then select this particular rectangle again go to format tab merge shape and subtract so you end up getting this particular shape and i want to get one curve shape to be added here for that go to insert shapes select this one which is the rectangle top corner surrounded again i'm just going to make it from the top no curved and at the bottom fully curved and shape outline make it no outline and exactly put it here and make sure that this is properly aligned you can see here if you cannot see here then again zoom it you can see here we have not fully uh, aligned it so again let me just correct it you can hold the alt key also to resize the the shape according to the this one so let me just do a little bit i think this is okay still i have to i think this is okay now so you can see here now i'm going to select these two objects and go to format merge shape and just say union now it's up to you whether you want to increase the width you can just increase the width if you want you can just reduce the width so whatever depending on your requirement you can adjust the height and width of this object now i want to give a gradient fill for this right mouse click go to format shape and you can select a gradient fill by default the last time i have used let me just delete i don't want anything here only two things here one i have just selected the gray color at the top and white at the bottom and type you select the linear and direction this one which is the gray should be more up now i'm just going to add some more objects in the background for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then just send these two back and i'm going to put this here you can see here now if you want you can give a gray color or you can give the gradient up to you for example i can just give this dark color also here or I can just add a gradient fill to it you can see here because it is not visible now because we have used the same color so here at the white color I'm going to use some dark colors you can see here and here also I'm going to use the same but I'm going to add one more you can see here I'm just going to add one more stop here and I'm going to give a light color so you end up getting this particular shape like this 
and this also I'm just going to add this one white to be go up more we can see here so it, it gives a uh, somewhat curved and this one I'm going to make it somewhat darker color so you can see here and if you feel that this is more lighter here or if you want to add somewhat a gray you can add a small gray color like this also you can see here you can just play with this one how you want now once this is done we can add a shadow effect to this one or if you feel that this is more lighter here you can just add a somewhat darker color also now you can see the difference it is clearly visible to add the shadow effect i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to go format fill and i'm just going to select a black color and you can increase the transparency level here and then just send this to back and just exactly put like this so you can see here we have added the shadow effect also now i'm just going to copy this particular object at the top by reversing the direction of the gradient fill first of all i'm just going to select press ctrl d you can see here and the direction i'm going to change it you can see here let me just select this direction which is this one now and then i'm just going to put copy it here you can see here and reduce the size exactly like this and this one i'm going to make it more whiter so we end up getting this kind of shape here you can see here and then i'm going to add one more shape at the top i'm going to add two oval shapes here for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key while you are dragging this uh, particular uh, oval circle so that you get a perfect shape and just make sure that this is properly aligned you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and give you can give any color of your choice and i'm just going to add one more press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to give a white color and i'm going to just reduce the size and put it exactly in the center or if it is not center select both of these object by holding the shift key align center align middle and then i'm going to add one more shape which is the this one the triangle draw the triangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to rotate the shape flip vertical you can see here let me just zoom in and i'm just going to bend it and i want this one to be matching or pointing towards the same end here and then i'm going to right mouse click edit point and one i'm just going to make it here you can see here and i'm just one more i'm just going to make it here you can see here and i'm going to select the same color so that we know exactly whether this is matching or not matching and this one i'm let me just go send this to back and this one i will select and group it i will bring it down you can see here this is more down so this one and this one is it's matching here and this one i need to make it match here again select this edit point i'm going to put it here you can see here and then drag this down this also drag this down so you can see here we end up getting this particular shape all right if you want you can add more uh, curved here but i think this looks fine to me let me just check i think this looks fine yes and still if you feel that again let me just zoom in and see whether you can see here this pointing it's not at this end so i let me just select edit point 
and then put this point here all right and this also i'll make it more down and this also i'm just going to make it more down sorry let me just drag it down so you can see here we got this particular shape now let me ungroup this right mouse click ungroup first of all i'm just going to select this orange circle and this shape and go to format merge shape and just say union and then select this and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object here can you see here now we can add the icons here if you don't have the icons i have last week i have added a new video in my youtube channel i have provided more than 500 icons you can download the icons or if you are using our latest version of office then you can get this icon i'm using office 365 so let me just download any icon here you can see here and hold the shift key and reduce the size and bring it here and this also i'm going to give the same color then you can add the detailed text here so now let me just add the text go to insert text box and i am going to say option 01 center align give the same font make it bold i'm going to change the font to open sans or any other font which you like and if you feel you can give some shadow effect also and then i'm just going to add the detail shape add, uh, text sorry go to text box and add your detail text here and this i'm going to center align reduce the size you can add more detailed text or more points also here so uh, first of all uh, before adding the animation i'm going to group this i'm going to group this object this text hold the shift key and this text and press ctrl g to group it all right and this is already we have grouped it i think with the icon i have not grouped it i will group this also so now to add the animation i'm just going to select this go to animation tab enable the animation pane select the wipe effect and the wipe effect it should come from top you can see here then i'm going to select the shadow this is also wipe effect and this also should come on come from top and this one i'll make it previous and a delay of 0.10 seconds and this also i'm going to make it a wipe effect and this should happen with previous so if i play now it comes something like this you can see here now it's easy for me i'm just going to replicate these options let me just move it this one to the left press ctrl d to duplicate it this is my second option you can see here third option and fourth option now if you have space you can add more options also you can see here and now it's easy for me i can just go and change the option numbers option two option three option four and then i can just go and change the color according to my requirement i can select this color and this icon also i can change it i can just go and change this to this color and to say this color and if i want to change the icon i can just simply select this go to format change graphic from icons i'm going to select any icon i want just click on insert and give the same color which is the red color so you can see here i have added uh, the options change the colors and if you want you can give some shadow effect for this white circle go to format shape shadows effects shadows and just select this one and you can just increase the size and this one i'm just going to select and press f4 key so that it will repeat i don't need to do again and again so you can see here our design is ready let me just play it when i click it will show me the first option 
second option third option and the fourth option that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye